Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a first impression. I have never done one of these before, so I'm super excited. Essentially, a first impression is just like right from the box and then using it, and you guys can see my initial thoughts like right from the beginning. Um, so this is a first impression review, which means it won't be as detailed as like a review review <laughs> that I would do for a product that I've had for a few weeks. Um, and I decided to use the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara as my first first impression um, because I have already like a huge diehard fan of the Benefit Gimme Brow um, which I use in conjunction with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. These two have been a combination in like probably the last 15 videos I've done I want to say 10 to 15 videos so obviously I'm a diehard fan. And this is $28 so, I mean, this little cute thing is $28. So I definitely wanted to see if there is a drugstore dupe. And the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara isn't as, like, cheap as you would think. It's about $12 or $13 for a drugstore price, which is still a little high. Um, but the before and after looks almost like the same as Benefit Gimme Brow's exact, you know, statement. Like, we, we can make your eyebrows look like filled in and natural with a swipe. And on the side of it, it says, this is specially formulated gel adheres to skin and hair for filled, defined, and natural looking brows. And I got it in the color brunette. I already tried to open it, and as you can see, I failed, so I just left it for the video. And it says, gently brush tinted brow mascara slightly upwards in the direction of hair growth over clean brows to shape, define, and set them in place. So it does work as like a brow gel as well, like, keeping them in place, um, even though it just says tinted brow mascara. <sighs> we'll see. So let's see if I can actually get this to open, for real, for real. Oh, I guess I loosened it up the first time. All right. And wow, it's actually kind of big. So right from the bat, I don't know how many, okay, so this is 0.1 ounce, and this is 0.22 fluid ounces, so a little bit more than double the amount. Um, the colors, this is looks a little taupe. Maybe it looks, maybe it's universal. I don't know. Mm, okay, so right off the bat, it's huge. <laughs> That's what it looks like, um, which is pretty big compared to, I mean, it's double the size of the Benefit Gimme Brow. Like, look how tiny that is compared to that. Um, the color looks a little light, so I'm a little nervous. It looks more like a blonde color than a brunette color. Um, so, here's what it looks like. And I don't know how I feel about it. It's a little big, but we'll see. I'm going to use my favorite brow because sometimes these two never cooperate. They're cousins more than sisters. Um, so I'm just going to start because I know for a fact that some mascaras and brow gels tend to deposit a lot of product in the beginning. So I'm just going to use the middle part and over. I kind of like it though. I'm gently pressing it down a little harder here because I do have sparse areas. Mm, the color's a little off though. I wouldn't say this is a brunette at all whatsoever. Why is my eyebrow higher than the other one? Stop it! Let me just, let me just relax my face. That's so weird that one of them is going higher than the other one. Okay, um... I like it. It's not easy to use though as the gimme brow the color is off I, on camera it actually looks way lighter than the other benefit gimme brow and in person it looks like a blonde a blonde but when I was in the store the one that's darker than this one is actually like a black and I can't use that because I have like lighter hair alright so it's a little hard to use because it's such a big wand and I feel like if I go where I want to go, I'm going to get it everywhere. So I'm going to go back in and do the other one. Alright, that side looks way better than this side. <laughs> I can't with my life. Okay. Brows are like a real struggle, people. I like it. I can't do anything that I want to do with it though. Like I can't use this to shape and define because you're supposed to use the top part. But then when I, like I just feel like I'm not depositing a straight line. So I really can't do a fill in like the brow is pencil or maybe the dip brow. Like I'm trying to get this sparse area right here and I just can't. 
because it's too thin. So if I go up a little bit, my eyebrows look cockeyed. <laughs> um, but for the purpose of it, I don't really like it. Like I, I can't see myself defining and shaping my brows. But for what it does, like the the deposit, I do agree with that. Like, this is like my sparse area, and this is my sparse area on both of those on both of my brows, and I do feel like it's filled it in. Um, so it's the, for the purpose of it, I do I don't agree that you can actually shape and define, but I do think you can fill in. So that's my initial thought on this. Um, I'm actually gonna go in and do my brow is to finish my brows <laughs> because right about now I'm looking a little indecisive so to speak. I guess the only critique that I have is how big this wand is. Why is it so big? Like this is a mascara almost. I mean look at that. I don't, uh, I don't know. It's too big. It's too big. But um, everything else though I like. Um, however if I'm on the run and there's a Target somewhere and I know they sell NYX then I'm gonna go and get this if I leave my gimme brow. Um, I wouldn't consider it a dupe though. This is nowhere near a dupe for it. I haven't tried other brow mascaras. I mean, I know Maybelline came out with one that's like a bold kind of wand, um, but I haven't tried anything else in the drugstore besides this, and I don't consider it to be a dupe. But I do consider it to be a good supplement if you guys want to, are too scared to travel with the Gimme Brow because you might lose it and it's freaking 30 bucks. But if you guys have um, a pencil or a pomade or whatever you use to fill in your brows and then you use a brow mascara, then I think this would be a good product. So if you guys want to use it as a supplement, I think go ahead and purchase it. If you guys are good with the color, because I only saw three colors and this is supposed to be their brunette color, and it's a little too brown for me. A little too reddish tinted, whereas the uh, Gimme Brow is more universal, and I have that one in, the, in also, I think, oh, I have it in medium deep, and this color is more universal than this color. This has too much of a tint to it. Um, a brownish reddish tint. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys want to see more first impressions. I will definitely try to include that more in my video repertoire. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!